Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a Shao Wuxi listener by me so let's get into it Shao has once longed to die until you gave him a reason to live someone to live for something to look forward to in his days and someone to love he never thought he'd be capable of that capable of those feelings that the only thought that foolish humans felt. Love and adoration, those feelings that he witnessed so many humans die for and thought they were pretty idiotic. But here he was, an idiot, at the very end. He fell for you, and though he never knew, and he still don't, he can't help but feel like you are the love of his life. The reason he found a purpose to live and the reason he didn't want to die anymore. He looked forward to your smile every day. He looked forward to watching you, even as you did the most mundane of things. He loved hearing your voice, looking at your eyes, and seeing your smile. You are an angel in his own eyes, and you only left to see what you had to offer. But this dangerous mission that you're about to go on it threatens you and your life. That's why, as your friend, and knowing he can be anything more, he just decided to remain a friend. He told you not to go, that it would be dangerous, and that you could die. Shall, I'll be fine. Don't you trust me? You said with a smile, and you just let out a soft sigh. I trust you, my aunt. My trust in you was unwavering, but it's not a reason for endangering yourself. So please, don't do this. Someone else could take over, but not you. Why not me? Do you think I'm not good enough? Do you think I'm worse than the rest? Man, I never said that. You know I didn't. Don't twist my words. I'm not twisting anything. This is what it seems like. I believe in myself. And if you won't believe in me, then that's fine with me too, Xiao. But I will go on this mission and help Lady Ningguang. So, either you just congratulate me on getting it and wish me luck, or you can ignore me. Call me an idiot and just let it go. Because I'm not leaving that mission. I'm continuing it. I know I can do this. He was desperate. He didn't want to lose you. But it seemed like you were not going to listen. So all he could do was just watch and nod. Whispering an apology. Forever making it feel like that he didn't trust you or believe in you. Because to him, you were one of the most amazing human beings he's ever seen. And that's why he was so scared. That anything could happen to you. That he could just lose you. He never wanted you to die. And that's why. He was acting so protective. Because he didn't want anything happening to you. And. It seemed like you were not able to understand that. So he was going to let you do what you want. And protect you. In his own way. He would watch over you. As you went to your mission. Making sure that everything would be okay. And trying to deal with most of the monsters in your way. To clear the path for you and make it safer. And that's when he found out something that he was not prepared for. There was a huge monster. And Xiao was getting exhausted. This trial. This mission. You should have never been sent there. Maybe in any other day, he would have been able to deal with that. But with the way he's killed hundreds of monsters on the way, and trying to do it with immense speed, he had gotten injured because of his carelessness. This monster is different from anything he's ever seen, and the power that it holds. It's unnatural. Someone had tweaked this monster, and it had to be one of the Fatui's experiments. No matter how he fought it, it seemed like his attacks were useless against it. 
Maybe it was his vision that it had resistance to. But he didn't know what to do now. As he stood powerless in front of the monster. No matter what he did, nothing could be done to save you. Except that maybe he had tried to destroy his vision. He's only heard of this instance once in a thousand years. And he knows how it could be done. And he knows that it could kill. The power that destroyed vision holds. If destroyed by someone, the explosion of that power could be too much. But it will work. And it will end that monster and keep you safe. And hundreds of others too. Perhaps, if you could tell Charlie, then you could have found out a way to end that. But right now, there was no time. It wasn't like he could leave a monster out like that in the wild. After a week and get. And even worse. You would be on your way here soon. So that's why. He pressed the vision into his hand. And used all his power to destroy it. Causing an explosion. To shake the ground. And kill the monster. Right in that instant. And it makes him collapse too. Blood slipping out of his mouth. He was hurting so much, and it felt like he didn't have any time left. That's when he saw you run to his side, and as you saw the monster and Shao bleeding on the ground, you immediately knew what happened, and you couldn't help but cry, wrapping your arms around him. Shao, what are you doing here? He knew, he knew I was about to come here on my mission, so why... I needed to protect you, Ayan. I couldn't let you be hurt. I had a feeling this mission would be dangerous. So I wanted to protect you. You shouldn't have. You felt tears streaming down your cheeks. I'm sorry. It's my fault. If I had just listened, then maybe you wouldn't have had to kill this monster on your own. It's not your fault, Ayan. Someone else would have gone. And I would have had to deal with it. You hugged him closer. Crying into his shirt. And he just let you. But. As he felt his breathing become more labored. He knew he had no time. And that's why. He needed to tell you those words. Those words his heart. And some have been aching to say. For years. He cups your face in his hand. Looking up at you with hazy eyes. Ayan, I need you to listen to me. You can just tell me later. I'll, I'll get someone. Please. Shh. It's fine. I knew this day would come. And I'm happy. I died for you. And I protected you like I meant to. I just want you to know. That I love you, Ayan. I love you so much. He said, smiling softly as he let out his last breath. He never even got to hear that all along you loved him just the same.